So I've been showing you monotype processes. This is another monotype process that this one is called stencil because what we're going to do is basically use a stencil to block out some areas and ink up others. Um, so it's really kind of fun, again, with interesting textures and interesting um, shapes and spaces that you can find in the world. So I've got my plate I've been working with. Uh, it's, it's dirty, I've used it in a different print. It's just got brown ink on it, which is no big deal. I'm actually gonna go through and um, just cover it up. So I'm pulling some ink onto my brayer and I'm gonna ink my plate and that'll kind of cover up all those lines there. even coat of brown. It's kind of an umber. I'm going to go back like I've done before and make it sure that it's a nice smooth lines so that I don't have any weird crisscross lines. Okay, so I've got my image that I've been working with. I've taken off screen some time to cut apart pieces of my image. So I've cut out the highlights. I've taken a really nice sharp X-Acto knife and cut out some of the highlights. I've taken a really nice sharp X-Acto knife and cut out um, some of the dark areas, the areas that I would want to have kind of black detail. And what I'm going to do is use this one right now to put on my area of highlight um, on this. The one thing I'm gonna do that I haven't done is make sure and cut this image so that it's the same size so I know where the corner is. Uh, I'll do that. You can come over here really quick. Just gonna get the bottom corner cut off. Because that'll make sure I line my images up correctly. the same roller. I never much worry about um, inks mingling together because it gives a more unique color. So it's got a bit of brown on here. I'm going to actually just use a piece of computer paper, typing paper, to get some of that ink off the edge of my roller. I'm going sideways too because you always get ink on the outside edge. So I'm just trying to kind of clean my roller without bothering to wash it. never want to mix the, the brown back into my original color so I'm going to make sure anything that touches the ink is clean so I've got my palette knife here which still has some graphite color on it that I'm going to wipe off to make sure that's nice and clean because I don't want to contaminate my original ink colors. I'm going to make sure my fingers are clean this separated out, so I'm going to stir that up to integrate the medium back into the ink, back with the pigment, and then I'm going to just put a little bit of that same mixed ink right onto my tray. That's probably, I'm not going to need a lot, so that's probably all I'm going to need. I'm going to just kind of, for now, set that aside in case I need it. And my brayer is only touching ink, it's not touching my, um, my jar. Okay, uh, there's a little bit too much. I want a little bit of sizzle, just a tiny bit of slide because I want the sizzle, sizzle on my, um, my print plate. Set my stencil right on top. Actually, you know what? I think I have different size images. Yeah, 
Well, that's okay. We're going to make it work. I'm going to, so I'm going to have to eyeball it, I guess. I'm going to set my image on top. Um, so it's going off the edge. I'm careful here because I want that brown to stay. I don't want to stick a lot of it to my stencil paper. Some of it's going to, but I don't want to stick a lot of it. And I'm going to just roll her over. Some of the brown will have stuck to this paper. That's okay. So you see I left some of that on there. Um, this I actually am going to hang on to, um, but I'm going to set it somewhere, maybe on a piece of paper towel. So that I don't get ink off the bottom because there's ink on both sides now on anything. Switch back on the tray. Because now I want to deal with my um, my details. So now this, because because apparently I was working with different um, different test prints that I've done for different classes. Um, I'm going to try to see. Well, where is it? I want my eyes to fall. And once I figure that out, I should be able to kind of adjust everything. So I've set that down. So I want ink in just those areas, and that's where I want the dark. I'm going to clean this off again a little bit. Um, I might need another piece of typing paper. Clean it a little bit more. Because yellow and black tend to make kind of a muddy color that's not quite as pretty. I'm cleaning off my roller, cleaning the edges. And I'm going to go back over here to where I have my kind of gray black. I want a little bit more ink than I normally do so that I don't have to use a ton of pressure on my stencil. So I've got a little bit more, it's almost a little bit shiny there. And I'm going to go through and roller onto my, through my stencil. I've pulled away even more brown um, to get my kind of black highlights there. Set this aside. Now. Do one quick pass over this image. 